what is the difference in price between a standard solar system, an Enphase system, and a solar edge system? It's one of the main questions that our customers need to answer before they decide on the right solution for their household. And so in true solar array fashion, today we're going to lay it all out so that you can get a good idea of the price points that we have in the solar industry here in Australia. So like with most industries, solar systems vary a lot. They range in quality, features, and then of course price. And if you think of a TV, when you've decided on the right size, say for example a 55 inch screen, there's still going to be a really large range in prices and of course in quality and, and what you get for your money. So you're going to have very cheap TVs, mid-range and top of the range, even though they're all the same size. Similarly, in the solar industry, we've kind of got four price points that we like to go through. The first one is cheap solar. The next one is a good quality string inverter, which is the older technology. And then there are two main smart solar systems that now dominate the solar industry. And they are Enphase and Solar Edge. So firstly, I just want to cover off cheap solar because to put it bluntly, we don't compare our systems to the cheap solar systems. They're completely different. And if you're not aware yet of all of the issues that can go wrong with a cheap solar system, it's well worth your while um, having a read through a blog post, which I'll link down in the, in the description below. Um, but what I will do is just put up here a slide to show you some of the prices that will come up on the ads if you were to search for solar price Sydney or something like that in Google. You're going to get results with um, a price range from about $3,000 up to around $4,000. The problem, of course, is if you look at these ads here, you can see words like tier one, premium, platinum, and these are all words that could just as easily be used to describe a top of the range system. And that's where people can really go wrong, thinking that they're getting a great deal on a, on a you know, for example, a 6.6 .6 kilowatt solar system here for $3,000. And the truth is, the price gives it away. You don't get a $9,000 system reduced to $3,000, but hurry, sale ends Friday. It's not how the solar industry works. So the, the first com real comparison I want to make now is a good quality string inverter versus an Enphase system. And if you see over my shoulder here, that's an SMA inverter. And they're one of the leading manufacturers, a European company that, that have um, fantastic products. And they do, um, they've got good service here in Australia as well. So if something goes wrong, you will be looked after. And that's one of the key differences between a good quality system and buying one of these cheap solar systems. And so I'll put a slide up here again so we can make a, a good comparison. Um, and so a 6.6 .6 kilowatt system, an Enphase system is going to be about $2,000 more. An 8 kilowatt system, an Enphase system is going to be about $2,500 more. And on a 10 kilowatt system, which is roughly about as large as you would go with a, a string inverter on a, on a family home, um, of course, you, you can go larger, but we generally recommend Enphase for the larger systems. Um, but on a 10 kilowatt system, you're looking at about a $3,000 price difference. Now, one of the most important points that I want to cover off right there is with a $3,000 um, premium to go to a top of the range Enphase system, it's worth keeping in mind that on a 10 kilowatt system, that can save you up to $4,000 a year on your bills. And so one way to think about it is the upgrade is going to pay for itself in less than a year. And that's why actually almost all of our customers end up choosing Enphase because not only do the features pay for themselves, um, but the price difference is covered very quickly by the system. So next up, we're going to have a look at an Enphase system versus a Solar Edge system. And so I've got a Enphase microinverter here, which is that big. And I've got a DC optimizer, which is the Solar Edge system, and that's that big. And both of these go underneath each panel. And then over my shoulder here, if I do that, that's the Solar Edge inverter. And the reason I wanted to point that out is because with the price difference, there's two points to consider. Firstly, with a Solar Edge system, the base price is a little bit more because you need to install one of those. With an Enphase system, the per panel price is a little bit more because we need to install one of these. And this small microinverter is more expensive and does a lot more than a DC optimizer. The other part of the Enphase system is actually on screen too, which is that, and that's the communications gateway. Um, and that's what connects your system to the internet so that we have all of the back-to-base monitoring um, and you, as the system owner, get the consumption monitoring and all the, the whiz-bangery that comes with these smart solar systems. So with that out, 
that all out of the way, let's have a look at uh, the price comparisons here. And so we've got a 6.6 kilowatt system. You're looking at about $1,500 more um, for an end phase system over Solar Edge. 10 kilowatt system, you're looking at about $2,000 more. Um, and then with a 13 kilowatt system, and I've put that up there just to represent a larger system, the, the number is probably around about $3,000. But on these larger systems, we'll almost always install um, an end phase system. And it gets a little bit technical. And by all means, you can put a solar edge system on um, in some circumstances. Um, but we do need a, a few things to line up. So for more information, if you're looking at a larger system, you know, take that ballpark price, um, but then, you know, take that further and give our team a call so that we can give you um, personalized advice. And so basically, I'm going to leave this video there. We've got another video on comparing Enphase to Solar Edge where we get into um, a, a few more of the technical details. So I'll put a link down to that video below. Um, but if that's all you need and you're ready to get going, um, I'll put the number on the screen here so you can give us a call. Or um, there's another link down below in the description where you can click through and request a callback. Any questions that um, don't require personalized advice, just pop them in the comments section below and we'd be happy to answer. Um, but if it's a question that's more related to your house, um, please do give us a call so that we can give you the right information. So hopefully that helps and we'll see you in the next video.